Despite signals from Russian officials that they'll continue negotiations with the West, they are not drawing down their 130,000 troops gathered near the Ukrainian border. We are told that February 16th will be the day of the attack. We will make it a union day. The decree has already been signed. I won't get into a, a specific date. I don't think that would be smart. I would just tell you that it is entirely possible that he could move with little to no warning. In response, NATO countries are building up their own forces in Eastern Europe. The U.S. is moving more than 3,000 soldiers into the region, warning Russia not to invade its neighbor. Russian President Vladimir Putin denies having any plans for war, but has a list of demands, including that Ukraine not be allowed to join NATO. Mr. President, is the risk of a Russian invasion higher than ever? President Biden and other NATO allies are threatening Russia with more sanctions, but some foreign policy experts point out Russia has resisted economic pressure for years. And if you don't show strength, they're going to continue to push. I don't think this president has the, the frankly, the courage to make hard and strong decisions when it comes to life and death and war and peace. On Tuesday, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is scheduled to leave for Europe, where he will meet with NATO allies about Russia's military buildup. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.